My name is Andy Hornby, photographer and vlogger. 17 years ago I started teaching myself photography. Today I travel the UK as a professional wedding photographer, landscape photographer and filmmaker. Learn from my experiences, my mistakes and my tips and advice. Oh. Bonjour, bienvenue from Normandy in France. Uh, this week I've actually come on a family holiday to uh, a little villa. Actually, it's a converted barn in uh, in Normandy in France. Uh, just a little family holiday just to get away for the week. Uh, but I can't come to France without doing a little bit of photography. You know last year, it's probably about exactly a year ago since I uh, uh, went on my family holiday trip in a camper van. If you haven't seen that, uh, I'll leave a link down in the description to the four videos I did on that. That was awesome. And we visited St Michael's Mount in Cornwall it was on like day one perfect loved it fantastic well this time I've actually come away and as you saw in my intro uh, I've actually gone to Mont St Michael in uh, in Normandy in France so it's really really nice try to get a sunrise but the sun rises a bit too far over to the east you can't really get around the dunes to uh, to get the sun itself uh, but as the sun comes up I did a time lapse you'll see in a minute so don't go too far away uh, of the sun sort of cresting on on the the side of the the kind of uh, what do you call it abbey kind of thing or oh, the houses and abbey in, in the th it's perfect it's a lovely lovely place to go it was a bit tricky to get to it's not easy to park especially when you're going there for sunrise because the parking's closed until 7 30 in the morning which is ridiculous uh, considering the amount of hotels that are down there you can't get in there it's like it's it's like Fort Knox to get into the car parks uh, and I managed to park on a road in the middle of nowhere didn't realize in fact that there was uh, towing in in, uh, in place for cars parked on the side of the road I didn't see the sign until I actually got back to the car uh, it was pitch black when I got there so just didn't see it apart from that it's uh, there's a bit, a bit about St Michael's Mount or Mont St Michael uh, you've got the proper causeway this time there's, it's not like in uh, in Cornwall where the tide actually covers the causeway this has actually got a road that goes you can get down there 24 7 uh, you walk down there at any point I think go right away to St Michael's Mount uh, I actually went underneath the, uh, the, the it turns into a little bit of a bridge so I went underneath that onto the sand dunes I got a little bit close with my 10 to 18 I think it's a bit too close so I actually backed off put my uh, Sigma 35 on I actually got some really nice time lapse and you'll see that in a bit again uh, hang around for that but just wanted to give you a little bit of an overview a lovely place to go hard to get to it's a long walk it's a long slog even from the car parks they do do shuttles but obviously the shuttles don't start until the car park starts opening so you have to walk it it's a long old way but if you ever do come down here you know find somewhere to park and uh, some really nice hotels don't actually it might be somewhere to consider going to at some point again in the future uh, we'll see I think I might have just caught a bit of sun there and that's gonna blow my skin out in the video it's a bit it's a bit bright out when the sun comes out so I've got a few pictures like I say where I had actually mounted the tripod uh, really nice play I had a walk around I saw another photographer down there, actually a bit round round to the east that I thought maybe for a sunset would be really really good so if I ever do go back down or if, or if anyone goes down there uh, consider walking right round the dunes uh, and getting the sunset as winter encroaches obviously the sun's going to set further around to the south uh, it's gonna be more and more difficult to get a sunset behind or anywhere near uh, Mont St Michael as you get on in the year but if you get down there sort of now you will get a really good good sunset yeah I just I, I haven't got time to do it while I'm here because uh, from where I'm staying it was a good good 50 minutes away from where I'm staying and uh, we've got plenty to do here as you can see I have a nice jacuzzi in the background just there uh, this place is awesome I might do a little quick walk around and overlay it here as we speak it's uh, it's pretty nice for it's, it's designed for 10 people 
but I don't think I want to bring 10 people down here because it's cause just it'd be a bit much I think but with eight of us we've got me and the missus and uh, four 18 year olds and two 13 year olds down here uh, so it's been quite a really it's been a really good holiday so and obviously that's getting used a fair bit which is pretty good but it's just one of the things the sun's been a bit hit and miss down here this morning it wasn't very sunny uh, we didn't get the sunrise when it should have been there was a band of cloud on the horizon and then the sun sort of encroached the top of the clouds and, and you, you'll see the the mound the mont the mount whatever it is uh, just the start being lit from the side it's pretty gorgeous uh, I'm gonna edit all those pictures in a bit and then put this video together and uh, you'll see that shortly so yeah so you ever come to France it's a, it's, it's a good place to, to visit Normandy it's got so much going on for it uh, as you can see we're in, pretty much in the middle of nowhere here uh, in, a, in a little village like out on the sticks but we're fairly close to to a place like Granville it's just only 20 minutes down the road uh, we went to Omaha Beach where the Americans landed during the Second World War on D-Day uh, the other day that was quite emotional but apart from that we've been pretty much staying around around here we were going to go into Paris but it's a bit far away train to take a, an age because we're in the middle of nowhere, it goes all over the, all over the country to get to Paris and uh, driving two cars and Mrs. would have to follow me and it's a nightmare getting here in the first place so tolls are a nightmare, let's put it that way uh, so yes, yeah, so I hope you like this video it's a very short one, I couldn't vlog down there, it was just too windy I did try and do a video on my phone uh, to go out on Facebook just didn't work, it was a bit of a, a, bit of a nightmare it's a very very windy down there So I thought I'd come back here and have a quick chat with you. I know it's still windy today, but hopefully my uh, my mic can handle this wind and it'll be fine. So have a look at this time lapse, see what you think. <laughs> do uh, St Michael's Mount in Cornwall have a think about coming over to France and doing the the big brother because uh, to be honest this one is a little bit bigger it's a little bit more spectacular and it's so magnifique uh, if I can use a little bit of my French it's pretty amazing to to see so yeah so hope you enjoyed this video if you did please whack a thumbs up if you've got any comments please leave them down below and if you want to subscribe that'd be awesome hit the notification bell so you get updates every time I upload a new video. Uh, thanks very much. I uh, hope to see you on a future video. Uh, more landscape stuff coming soon, so stick by if you're into your landscapes. Uh, also, I'm doing a lot of video work at the moment as well. Uh, and uh, I'll see you soon on another video. Take care. Bye. Still here, nice. It's good that you're still here because I want to tell you a little something. Those people who are avid followers of me, I want to give a little something back. And to do that, it means working alongside you online because a lot of you can't make it to my workshop. So I've just set up a Patreon account. It is patreon.com forward slash Andy Hornby photos. So Patreon is a platform where we can create stuff together, even if you're halfway across the, the globe. And I can learn and teach alongside you, literally alongside you. There's so many things I could do to help you get your photography just to that next level. It is awesome. If you can make it to one of my workshops, I've got a website. Go to ahphotographyworkshops.uk and have a look, see what I've got going on. But if you can't make it to one of my workshops, Patreon is a really good platform where we can create stuff together and 
we can take your photography to another level. So if you like what I'm doing and you want me to learn alongside yourself, see you there. Take it easy, have a good day. Bye.